thanks for joining me again. This is the project. This is a gift tin and it's quick and easy to make. I made this one in under an hour and I'm going to show you how you can do it too. So let's get started. Okay, to begin this project you're going to need a can sanding blocks. Now I'm going to use this one which is a coarse grit uh, because we need something for the paint to grab onto. These actually work. Yes, those little nail buffer files actually work. And acrylic paint. You're also going to need napkins, decorator napkins or whatever kind of napkins you want to use. You can even use paper. You can use uh, a coarser paper, or you can use that you'll have to cut to fit or you can use a softer or tissue paper okay and that's all we need to start and we'll talk about anything else a little later and here we go okay for sanding your can I advise two things one make sure you're in a good ventilated area and two if you have allergies you might want to cover your nose you might want to use those masks you can get at the store you can get a pack of them for like two something the little cheap face mask you see people wearing sometimes or you might want to do it outside okay so I have my fan going and it's blowing everything that way which is of course is going to leave me with a dusty surface afterwards but I'm used to it. So you just want to take your sanding block and you just want to sand the top of your can. And you want to do it until you get a good rough top on the can. You're not trying to uh, sand off whatever you've got on there. You're just trying to give the paint something to grab onto. So I'm going to sand this really good. Okay, now I'm going to paint the top of my can with my pink paint. The purpose for putting paint on before I put the tissue paper on is that the can has an imprint on it. And rather than spend a whole bunch of time trying to get that off of there, I'd rather simply paint over the top of it and not have it show through. Next I'm going to put a little bit of the darker pink on. The other thing about this is if the tissue paper doesn't cover a specific area, it doesn't matter because it's going to be covered with the paint. Okay. Now the reason I left this on the can is because it's much easier to hold when it's on the can. You might want to take yours off and do it without it being on the can. I'm a messy artist so I need leverage. Okay. And there I have it. Now I'm going to give this a second to dry and then we'll move on to the next phase. Okay, so while I'm waiting for those to dry, I'm going to go on and tear up my beautiful little napkin here because I'm going to need some pieces to create my artwork on my can. I've also gone ahead and painted the bottom part of the can too. Sometimes I cover the bottom, sometimes I don't. In this instance, I'm only going to cover the top. These cans make great gifts for, well, we got Valentine's Day coming, but they also uh, work for just making someone smile, and that's what we're going to do with this can. Now that you've got these torn up, get your Mod Podge ready, a clean foam brush, and we'll go on to the next phase. Okay, so the next thing you want to do after your lid has dried is top it with your Mod Podge. And I'm just going to completely go over the top. The good thing is this stuff dries clear, so what isn't covered will just dry and have a coat. 
a protective coat on it. Okay, so now because the tissue paper or the napkin in this case is so thin, I can actually go in and cover this whole lid and, and just once I get started, complete it all the way through. And that's what I'm going to do here. Okay. So I've actually torn out a piece of text paper just as a centerpiece on mine. And I'm going to sit that right in the middle. And I'm actually going to put a little bit of the Mod Podge over the top of that too. The other thing that I forgot to mention that I do is I actually take the back off of the napkin. Sometimes you buy these napkins in the store and they have a tissue back to them. So you want to peel that back off because you really want it to be as thin as possible. And then you just want to start building. I have no problems getting my fingers in it. So 